Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. Thought I'd bring you a fun game that I played a couple days ago. Uh, this is played online with a couple of subscribers to the channel. And I know I haven't been doing too many commentaries, I don't do them all that often, but um, some people have been requesting them, so I thought I might be doing it. Maybe a little bit more in the future, we'll see. Uh, so here I am, this is a regicide map, and it's a 3 verse 3, and I'm playing... Uh, everybody just guess my sieve real quick. Hi. Yeah, so I'm playing the Japanese, and also on my team, we have Josh and Yo playing as the Mayans. I think he was on random. Like I said, this is a regicide, so everybody gets a king, and if your king dies, you lose. Also on my team, we have Gray here, Sir Oren, and he's playing as the Teutons. And so that's our team on this side of the river. It is a Highlands map. I think we did just random, random land map. And on the other team, in red here, we have the Teutons. I guess Sauerkraut is how that's probably pronounced. And I played with him a couple times before. And we had Master Chief, and never played with him before. Uh, I assume a Halo fan over here, playing as the Britons. And then on the other side, we have also playing as the Japanese. I guess Shiv is what we'll say, but I'll just refer to people by their colors. It's probably easier. And you know, you guys know how I am with pronunciations. Or is it pronunciations? Uh-oh. All right, so in terms of rankings and stuff, just give you guys an idea. I was the highest ranked player here, and then green was second. And I don't really remember where everybody else was, uh, to be completely honest. But everybody is uh, 1,700 or less. 1,700 is where I'm at. And I remember everybody else being lower than me. And I think it was... Yellow, I think yellow I, I told to be on my team because he was the lowest rank. So just give you an idea. It should be pretty balanced teams and yeah, so it should be a good game. Okay, so my location here is not too bad. I've got some gold beside the castle, which is nice to protect it. Unfortunately, it's also kind of in there with the trees and stuff. Uh, snow map as well, which I never like as much. I just don't really like the, the look of it as much. So people should be going up to Dark Age a lot sooner because this is... Uh, regicide. So you see somebody advancing there, looking at populations, a lot of 23, 24. Um, people are going up already, and you're saying seven minutes, that's awfully fast. Uh, yeah, so the reason is because you're starting off with a bunch of extra villagers, and I think actually extra resources as well, when you're doing a uh, regicide map. Regicide meaning uh, you have the king. So kind of a standard build for me, I guess, just collecting all the sheep, and all the wood, and all the yeah, just basically all the food and, and wood that I can, trying to advance up, getting a little bit of gold. The plan is basically to try to, um, because I'm pocket position, as they say, and uh, so these are my teammates that are closer to the enemy, the idea is that I will uh, build up and help my guys a little bit later in the game rather than trying to rush and get something out as quickly as possible. So a little bit of a, a forward happening here from red. Uh, this is a little bit... I don't, know. I don't want to say unusual, I guess we're at we're at 10 minutes, but um, because of the castle, it gives your base a lot of defense. It's a little bit harder to uh, to rush, is just kind of generally what, what I found on a regicide map. So it does change up some of the strategies that you'll be using. So Red here is going to be towering up, my ally, and trying to deny him all the, the berry bushes, which is an interesting strategy. Um, I'm not sure he realizes, but he's also pretty close to the gold, and he probably could have... Uh, so let's see, Fog of War. Yeah, so even knows the gold's there, and yeah, so coming up with another tower right on the gold. Um, at this point, yeah, I was gonna say you should probably charge with the villagers and just try to get rid of them. There's only three of them. Uh, yeah, so you should probably follow that up and take down the tower. And yeah, unfortunately they're standing around and getting shot. And it looks like that tower is gonna go up. Tower coming up in defense, that's interesting. And I see some activity from green, taking some sheep, fair enough. Okay, uh, yeah, so once you put the tower up, you should put the villagers in it, so they fire the extra arrows, and at this point, uh, I think kind of lost, kind of lost the base. So originally, you know, slow it down a little bit. Originally, if somebody's uh, tower rushing you there, you have way more villagers here than, than he sent. So just going for the direct assault. If you didn't notice the first tower, though, I think villagers still do a lot of damage versus towers, and at this point, they actually can't attack their own base on the tower. Because uh, you don't have murder holes yet, obviously. Although the Teutons will get that when they advance to Castle Age automatically. Uh, so maybe attacking that. At this point, though, it's a little late. And now these are firing three extra arrows. So it's firing four. And this one only has one going into Militia. Okay. Interesting. So you can probably learn a little bit um, by watching this. And kind of, you know, you get really thrown off when you get when you get rushed, but just remembering that you gotta keep your economy going, don't let yourself get too far behind in things. So, 
Okay, going for the charge. I kind of want to see how this worked out. I didn't really know this was going on during the game, to be honest. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so could have done that probably a little bit earlier too, and saved himself a lot of a lot of time. Ooh, red coming in with the militia as well. I don't know about that. Um, okay, probably could have walled it up. Uh, generally, militia really aren't that much stronger. I mean, 40 and 4 versus uh, a villager's 40 and 3. Really, they're about as strong as a villager and actually cost a lot more. So, especially by 16 minutes on a regicide fortress, probably don't need uh, to go with. Uh, militia there, but yeah, that, that was exciting. So I, let's see you got the worst of that. So red is on 33 villagers and gray is on 19. So pretty successful. Lost a lot of villagers there. Production stopped. He's got no more food coming in. So that was a very, very successful, very successful attack. He did manage to get up to feudal age though, which was good. And uh, yes, yeah, so they're both in the feudal age now. You guys just take a look around the map. 36. I'm Oh no, okay, I thought that was me. I was like, why am I doing palisade walls? Right, so I did stone walls just to wall up my base, throw down two, sit down, two town centers and another one here, and uh, probably, yeah, another one, a fourth one. Usually I, I like to go with four town centers. I like to get as many villagers as possible quickly. I know that may not be the standard build, but that's what I like to do. And here's red going up. Uh, not a bad time, actually, so that, that raid didn't bother him too much. And lots of resources here for green, I notice, already in Castle Age. And how many town centers has he got? He's just got the one right now, putting up a second one, whereas I'm already on four town centers, and I'm probably putting up uh, another couple soon. So just to give you an idea where, where different people are at. Um, and yellow, also, I believe, just on the one town center. Yeah. And good, lots of villagers on the gold, and obviously the, the mines get an even better deal on that. It's quite large gold piles, actually. Highlands is, is pretty good. Three archery ranges. So just another little tip. I don't, like, I don't want to fill these things with annoying, be that tip guy. But, um, yeah, if you're going to line up 12 archers and you build this many archery ranges, just make three per archery range or four per archery range. Just gets them out a little bit faster. Uh, just in case you need those units sooner. Let's check check back in on Gray, and it looks like Red snuck another villager in here. I'm able to kind of fight that off. Obviously, a scout is getting, uh, because he just aged up, is getting some extra attack. And it looks like he probably did a blacksmith upgrade as well. This is really clever, getting a, a siege workshop back here. Because if he can just get out a couple battering rams, uh, because he's delayed Gray so much, Gray's going to have a really hard time dealing with that. And yeah, I don't know if watchtowers are really going to do too much here. Probably I uh, should be focusing on food and and wood to get the economy back up. Where is he at anyway? Yeah, a little bit behind in population and a lot of wood actually, so probably doesn't even need to be Well, he probably should still be collecting wood. Okay, lots of farms. Lots of farms, man. Build lots of farms. And where's yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where we are. So yeah, so here's I decided to send out a night raid. Um, I usually get the defense upgrade first. I've heard you're supposed to. I don't know. Sure, maybe we could do a video on that sometime. Which one's more effective, the, the armor or the attack? I would think the armor's a little bit better. Um, so I'm sending them out across the map. Unfortunately, my scout is way over here. He should have been with them, because if you check it out, uh, knights actually have a terrible line of sight. And I'm noticing the scores. The green is just barely behind me. So want to make sure, and actually taking... Uh, taking fish, not a, not a bad idea, not a lot of deep sea fish here. Um, so just making sure that I'm sending out uh, something just to keep an eye on him, see where he's at, and uh, hopefully do a little bit of damage to his economy here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so... Oh, come on, spirit, pay attention. Yeah, so sending these out... Um, unfortunately, I haven't really scouted him too much. I know the general location, because someone on our team had... Uh, done the equivalent of spies, which is where you locate their king, and so uh, we could see all of their castles. Uh, running by, I don't really want to engage a town center. He's seen me now, and so he's putting down some barracks, but unfortunately, probably should just put these villagers away and build the barracks back here, maybe under the protection of the castle, because I'm getting a lot of kills here, and probably at least five or six villagers are going to end up going down, because he's got to build these, and unfortunately didn't even get that one up or that one. So he's got to build them and then he's got to put spears out. They're probably not upgraded or anything yet. So they're just going to be spears which don't, which aren't exceptional against knights. Um, now if I had known, you know, I would have come in here and, and come into the, the stone. But again, that's where, that's where scouting, um, 
And, you know, I know he's got his castle here. I don't know anything that's going to be happening here. So I probably should have gone in there and done that. That would have been smarter. And so I've got my units here. As far as I'm concerned, that, that raid definitely did what it was supposed to. I mean, look at all the dead villagers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 or 10. Yeah, which is uh, a good raid in my books. Because you got to think, I mean, knights are, are food and gold. But at the same time, that puts the pressure on him. He had to really react to that. And as it just so happens, he happened to put down the castle right where my knights were as they were getting away. So I'm going to get a few more, actually. Uh, kind of bad. Just unfortunate timing on his part. And so he's got the spears here. The thing about that is, like, look how much food he's got in spears here just to react to my knights. And as the Japanese, I'm probably not going to make any more knights this game. So, or any more cavalry, period. So I uh, got a little bit of a reaction out of him, which is good. Over here, things not going so well. Kind of missed that a little bit. Um... Yeah, not going well. Mangonels are going to outrange the town center. And, oh, that's, yeah. Normally don't go Mangonels against the towers, but yeah, that's really effective. Good to know they actually take one damage each, so they'll take it down. And knights and these villagers got nowhere to go. Yeah, this is a very successful attack by Red through the combination of the tower rush to put Grey on the back foot and very defensive, and then to sneak a villager in, get some siege. And it could even be going in with these rams, to be honest, and take down the castle. I mean, he's got the knights around. Although the knights are getting shot. Maybe she pull those back. Yeah, good thinking. Um, in terms of... Yeah, actually, let's let's check around where everybody's at. So I'm at 137, and I've boomed up, so I got... How many town centers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 8 town centers. And... Uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't realize it's actually 200 population limit, so I should have stopped making villagers a long time ago. I've been playing a lot of 300 and 400 population, so that's that's the mentality I've been in. Um, you might think this is a little early for Imperial Age and, and all this stuff. I don't know if you watch my videos, it's, it's a little bit earlier. Usually I do more in the Castle Age, but uh, this is a regicide map, like I said, so you start with the extra villagers, and all your times are just going to be moved up a little bit. So pretty regular uh, strategy for me is going to be lots of halberdiers, lots of skirmishers, lots of onagers, and uh, some uh, trebuchets, which is my favorite combination. It's uh, difficult to counter. So setting up trade as well, that's what my, my flair was about. Yellow also getting out some plumed archers and crossmen. This is good. And he's got some eagle scouts. Okay, usually um, these are pretty expensive for gold. This is a few, few hundred in gold here. I, I usually don't bring them out that early, but that's just me. I don't I don't play as the, the Mayans all that often. And all these pikes sitting around, there's just not that much you can do with them. So, yeah, just follow up. That was kind of uh, um, a good a good raid. I was happy with that one. Throwing down lots of farms. How many? So I'm at 184. Unfortunately, yeah, this is where I kind of messed up. If we're looking at military units here. This is my army, and I'm at my population limit. So I've got like 40 units and I'm at my limit because I've got 60 farmers, 50 lumberjacks. Completely not necessary, overboomed a little bit. Um, but the idea is you can always lose those villagers later. Get all the resources as fast as you can and then uh, just delete villagers or just send them in to build stuff in the other enemy's base. And if he kills your villagers, you know, they're dead. So what? You're already at population limit. So red is... Um, well, he's finished cleaning out gray. And so he's uh, just throwing in a town center there. And just getting that, um, getting getting these resources, kind of the spoils of war, so to speak. And you can probably throw one over here, start getting that gold. Um, sometimes if you can knock out a guy on the other team, you actually ends up being a really good investment because you end up getting all of their resources too. So I'm moving forward here. I'm just giving an idea where everybody else is at. Yeah, 20, not good. And 112, okay. So I'm the first one to hit the, the population max. And with my unit combination, it's pretty good against... Uh, halberdiers, skirmishers get a, a bonus against halberdiers, and so all those resources you put into that, I have a much bigger army, just take it out. And gonna, yeah, move forward with the trebuchets and with everything. Have a bunch of villagers, some pop caps, and just starting to run out of gold on the map. As I'm up here though, now Red is doing a little bit of raiding. Don't care too much because I'm just about out of gold here. Um, but I queued up some more, way too many actually, now that I look at it. Way too many. I just double clicked it and then. Um, did con shift E a bunch and it just folded up with halberdiers, but probably didn't need to do that. So he's going to go raiding around. Uh, not going to get too far past the castle though. So at the front, using a lot of onagers, which is really good for just taking out so many 
so many units, even your own units. There, yeah. Um, so Red's just, just moving around the back, and he's going to be coming up from behind here. So essentially, they're trying to sandwich me in between, which is really good because I have onagers. And so if I can just take this bridge location, I'm really happy with that. I see these coming, so I have some units. And take out some of my villagers, don't really care too much. Um, like I said, pop limit already. Um, happy to lose villagers. And just figured they might be some good fodder. Bunch of longbows coming in, not the best unit choice against onagers, and yeah, that's kind of what happens, guys, when the archers first. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Alright, so, this is a much better unit, uh, unit pick, because, um, I don't know, a little bit faster we can actually get in close on those, he's actually going to clean this up, because uh, I overextended myself here, I should have pulled back, and, I don't know, I didn't really care too much, I got lots of resources, and I was top capped, and, to me, this is this has gone pretty well. But one thing I probably should have done is ask Yellow to come in here because he's got a lot of archers and uh, hanging back, being very defensive. That probably would have changed how this went. Come to think of it, and as you can tell by the video, there's there's quite a bit left, and that probably would have just about ended it had had I asked Yellow to send in his units, and then we would have had Yellow here right now take all these out and still have a bunch of siege and stuff and just kind of walk walk in. So, miss a chance to end the game right there. But, I've got another army, and we're going to be making, I assume, some more trebuchets. Maybe not. How many castles do I have? Just making my second. So, try to put out some more trebuchets. Surprisingly, I, I don't have as many resources as I would have thought. And yeah, so I cancelled all those. I didn't really care about those all that much. And still, running into the problem over and over, I just have too many, too many villagers. So... Don't do as Spirit does, guys. You uh, think, look at what the pot maximum is at the beginning of the game, ideally before the game even starts, and keep that number in your head, and just maybe go about half that with villagers. Because uh, right now, I don't need 60 farmers. I mean, look at my, my food. I have more food than I need. I want to spend that food to get more units, really. Or I could be upgrading to better units, like Samurai or Cavalier or something. Um, and Lumberjack, I've started to get rid of some of my Lumberjacks, and... Yeah, which opens up my population a little bit more. I was trying to box formation, but you know, I'm really not impressed with the box formation. It, it's too it's too wide. Coming in with two-handed swordsmen and Teutonic knights, which is interesting. Um, yeah. I, I thought my regular unit choice would, would be able to counteract this. Although, thinking back now, probably Arbalest would have been a little bit better. Or, you know, Scorpions, but uh, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Scorpions. Um, at this point, so yellow could be pushing out or something. We're still kind of waiting a little bit on, on yellow to move out with these things. I guess he's saving up. I guess he's got them elite, so he's doing some upgrades and stuff. Um, and I'm trying to engage this. I don't have the best unit composition for this. And skirmishers do 7 damage, and the Teutonic Knight has 6 pierce damage. So, not the best unit. I mean, Teutonic Knights are great melee, but, you know... Once they upgrade, their pierce actually isn't too bad either. And the Halberdier doing 10 damage does exactly one to a, a Teutonic Knight once it's elite. Um, everybody else is starting to get the memo, though, with the, the Mangonels. And we're going to start seeing a lot more of those coming up. Uh, getting an army from purple over here. Uh, getting ready. And I would assume at some point here green is also preparing an army. Oh, there. He's got something. Okay. So I'm hoping, you know, ideally from my perspective... I'm trying to get him out of here, because I, I don't know exactly what's going on down here, but I imagine he's starting to take these resources, and if I can get him back onto his side, that's going to be a lot better. Um, my attack on, on green went well, but I unfortunately had to come down and deal with this, because I'm getting raided, and yeah, that kind of opens us up to, or opens me up to an attack from the front here, where I just have trebuchets waiting around, so not... Not the best there. Taking that out and, and losing one. Uh, making sure when you're using your onagers that you attack the ground of where you're shooting. I just find it's way more effective for making sure you hit where the unit's going because they'll tend to not shoot it where it's going. They just shoot it where it is. And probably doesn't need to create create any more there. Yeah, so I'm just trying to take this, this area out. But unfortunately, I've, I'm also running into his units here. And I'm still pretty much... Uh, population limit, and I have all my soldiers 
down here. So the sooner I can just kind of clean this up, and honestly, if these die, it's not a big problem. I have the resources to make more. It's just that population limit. Um, and it's starting to get, yeah, both of them coming in. So really hoping that at this point, maybe yellow is going to notice this and show up. He's moving them around. Okay. Shaping them up. Okay. He, he does he does come in and help. I don't mean to make it sound like he doesn't help. Um, so, it's a good idea. It's still fine down here. I kind of just want this, this arm to die a little bit. Um, yeah, trebuchet. Okay. That's an interesting choice. Not going for buildings or anything, but I guess it's good against. Um, yeah. Other trebuchets? I don't know. So, this is not good. This is them pushing in. I'm starting to take down my castle. Uh, it's hard for me to, to manage both of those things at once. And I'm probably... Yeah, so I brought all, all these villagers in, and at some point, I'm going to quickly go between this button and the delete button. And, you know, you just go around and keep pressing delete like that, and you just get rid of them. Um, I will be doing that. This is kind of a lot on my plate at the moment, happening in real time here. Um, so yellow does come in. Uh, took out... Yeah, he helped. It was good. I, I don't know if I would have been able to fight that off without him, to be honest. That was, that was pretty scary. That looked like that might have been the end for me with a lot of longbows and siege and with me pot cat, uh, as it was. So, uh, Red, I'm not even sure how he did it. I think he, he must come in with some knights and he took out some of my, my onagers. And this army is, is looking like like garbage now. He doesn't have to back up. He could just engage these straight on. Yeah, just do it, man. You'll, you'll take it out. So we're starting to, to realize this might be a little bit the end. Yellow pushing out, which is good. Maybe a little bit, a little bit too little, too late. But we'll uh, we'll take a look. So unfortunately, Red has has managed to hold this through a good combination of, of knights and, and infantry. Don't know if the champions are necessary. I think you probably do it just with halberdiers and Teutonic knights. Get those elite, man. And so I'm at 180, he's now at 140, and green is also at, um, is maxed out now. And yellow at about 100, and gray building up. Gray's just been, been building, getting a nice little base in the back. And obviously we're protecting the kings back there as well. And purple's starting to build up as well. We're seeing quite a few units, um, all three of them. And unfortunately, uh, for me anyway, we have red down here is going to be you can come at it, me from this side, and there's just not... I mean, I guess I could be walling this up, but it's feeling a little bit too too late. What are they doing? Are they doing trade back here? That's a good idea. Wow. Good idea. And the other one's over here. Yeah, I like that. Killing some of his villagers as well. Yeah, you gotta open up that population. That 200 population limit game. Yeah. Ooh. No. Okay. <laughs> they look like plume archers on the bridge. Uh, yeah, that's gonna die to castles. Get a little bit of samurai, and yeah, lots of different unit types. Um, so I got my my regular army. I I think we've been chatting a little bit, saying I, I guys, I think this one's a little bit over. Um, yeah, I'm on the move. I think my base is done. I see red coming in. I don't know. I have all the resources I need. It's just the population limit. Probably be doing me a little bit of a favor, uh, taking out some of my villagers. Let me kind of make one last army. Although, saying that, I'm kind of running a little bit low on, on wood. Yeah, so Red's coming in, and he's taking this out, and he's moving up. And, I mean, Red played a solid game. Um, attacking, you know, tower rushing, following it up with some siege, stealing the base. He's never felt pressured. He's walled up back home. Uh, good plan. Lots of farms. Yeah. Can move his lumber camp. Now I'm just nitpicking. And he's moving in. He's He's going to do me in here in a sec and just take out what's left of... Yeah, I wasn't really keeping up with my walls <laughs> with this one. But uh, it's T-Bags, you know, I felt like we got off to a good start. I did a nice nice little raid, and I, think, I guess it's my fault. I didn't let Yellow know that we were going to be doing that attack at 40 minutes or whatever it was. And uh, it's feeling, yeah, like, you know, I was going to play my game and he can play his game. But I, I think... Uh, teamwork is the thing, and here we, they got the memo about how good uh, Megan Ellis and Onagers are, and they're going to clean this up. That is one thing that this type of army is weak against, is, is Megan Ellis, and that's normally why. Uh, sometimes I'll put in a little bit of cavalry, maybe some light cavalry, uh, to mix it up, which I could have this time. But yeah, so there's the GG's, and 
I think we sit around and we and we chat a little bit. Um, obviously subscribers, so you know, it's kind of chat. And um, yeah, so I think that's everything. Everything there. So things could have done earlier. Could have done the market a little bit earlier. I could have helped out Gray a little bit more. I didn't really realize that he was getting completely overrun. Uh, just yeah, more communication on our team uh, would have been better. Even just looking through it, you can kind of see. Um, they were communicating about where they were going to put their market and stuff, and we didn't really have uh, that sort of communication. So, in the end of the day, it, you know, it, it just comes down to what team plays better and helps each other out as a team. And we weren't as unified as the other team was. So, learn from spirit. Don't do as spirit does. And, yeah, base not looking so good. So, got one more army. Yeah, no, it shouldn't make the same army every time, but it's kind of at the point. I don't know. Just wanted to keep going with it. Okay, so thanks guys for watching. I'll maybe be doing more more commentaries and showing you games. I hope it's helpful. I don't I don't know. I'm not really like a, a tutoring a tutoring sort of sort of channel. But if you guys like this stuff, I can do more in the future. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Uh, so I did end up being score leader mostly because of military um, fighting red in the bottom and then also purple and yellow just means I was involved in way more fighting so I uh, lost a lot of units very cheap units and and killed a lot as well so here was my problem so my largest army was 117 and if you look at the society at the most I had 155 villagers so naturally I would have you know those things would have worked together had I had a 300 population limit game or 400 500 and what happens is when you get one of your teammates knocked out of the game early, um, it's really hard to overcome that population limit disadvantage because they can have up to 600 units, whereas if one of ours is knocked out quickly, you know, we're kind of working with 400, so you have to do a lot more with with less. And obviously I delete a lot of my, my villagers, so that started to go down. Um, yeah, not too much notable there. Careful about advancing too fast. So the two fastest people that advanced ended up being... Uh, slower to advance to the next stage, so making sure you're um, on a slower game like this, honestly 25 villagers before you go up, or even 25, 28. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And yeah, you guys know I'm a sciencey, mathy kind of guy, I like to do my research, and there's that one. So thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.